SUVA involving vectors. The acceleration of a particle tells you how the velocity changes with time. Acceleration is a vector, usually denoted by A. If a particle with initial velocity U moves with a constant acceleration A, then its velocity V at time T is given by V equals U plus AT. Now this is an equation we use right at the start of the course when we're looking at SUVAT equations. And we can use SUVAT equations but involving vectors. So let's have a look at an example of using SUVAT involving vectors. It says a particle P has velocity minus 3i plus j ms to the minus 1 at time equals 0. The particle moves with constant acceleration a equals 2i plus 3j ms to the minus 2. Find the speed of the particle after 3 seconds. Now with all of the Mechanics 1 course, it's important that you highlight the key points in the question and also draw a diagram to represent this SUVAC question. So, firstly, the initial speed. We know that it's moving with a constant acceleration and we know the time is 3 seconds. So let's draw a diagram to represent this question. So, we've got our particle here at the initial time and a particle after 3 seconds. So, our initial speed is minus 3i plus j. We don't know what its speed is after t, t equals 3 seconds. That's what we're trying to find. We know that the acceleration is 2i plus 3j. Right, now we're going to use the SUVAT equation which involves everything apart from s. So let's just write down SUVAT and put in the bits of information that we know. So we know the time is 3 seconds, we know the acceleration is 2i plus 3j. We're trying to find the final speed, velocity. We know the initial velocity is 3i plus j. We are not using s. So, we're going to use the equation v equals u plus at. So, v is what we're trying to find out. The initial velocity is minus 3i plus j. The acceleration is 2i plus 3j, all times by 3. We expand the bracket first, so the start bit stays the same. 2i times 3 is 6i, and 3j times 3 is 9j. Now remember, we can collect together the i components and the j components to find the final velocity after 3 seconds. So minus 3 plus 6 is 3i, and 1 plus 9 is 10j. Right, now we're going to need to find the speed, because if you read the question carefully, it says calculate the speed of the particle after 3 seconds. Now, what we've found is the velocity after 3 seconds. So to find the speed, what we do is define the magnitude of the vector here. So the magnitude of V is equal to 3 squared plus 10 squared, which is 9 plus 100, which is the square root of 109, which if you do that on a calculator, the square root of 109 is 10.4 ms to the minus 1.